Hi everyone, welcome to another Autodesk screencast by Zon Ta of Repo Products. This screencast will showcase how to navigate and the different navigation tools within Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2017. If you like this video and would like to see more, please search for Zon Ta or VAR2016. Thanks for watching. Here I am in Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2017. I have a Navisworks model opened up and in regards to navigating and getting around your Navisworks models, there are several tools that are available to you. If you look at the Viewpoint tab of the ribbon, you'll see you have Viewpoints, you have Camera, you have Navigate, and Rendering as well as Sectioning and Export tab panels. <clears throat> for Viewpoints, that's kind of a way for you to get to another view, if you will. And once you turn that feature on by clicking this arrowhead right here, it'll turn on Save Viewpoints and you can create any views that you want. And you can double click in one that you want and it takes you to that view. Uh, I already have a screencast video on how to create viewpoints, so just do a quick search for it and you'll find it. That's one way to navigate. A second way to navigate is just to use your mouse and if you use the scroll wheel, and scroll your wheel down, as in towards you, it changes the angle of the camera so that you're looking up, and vice versa. <clears throat> if you press and hold the mouse wheel down and move your mouse, you're panning around that particular model. If you want to, in the Navigate panel, you have the steering wheel command. Now, it's a two-part command. The top part is the default, and the bottom part is some additional settings and types of navigation wheels. If I click the little arrow, you're going to see basic view object, uh, basic tour building, and full navigation. This navigation wheel and the view cube and the navigation toolbar, by the way, is the same across all of the Autodesk software. So I can pick, for example, basic view object, and it gives me a a steering wheel that only has the sender command, the zoom command, the rewind, and the orbit. If I pick the basic tour building, it gives me the forward, the look, the rewind, the up and down. If I pick full navigation, I have all of those tools in one navigation wheel. If it's too big, you can pick mini and have a small one. You can pick mini tour, have a small one. And you can pick mini full and have a small one. I usually prefer the full navigation so I can see all the tools that are available to me um, and it's easy to read. Now, when you work with this navigation steering wheel, the way it functions is let's it follows your cursor. So it's kind of like a just sits there. And let's say I want to use a zoom. The way it functions is you kind of move it where you want to zoom. So let's say, for example, I want to zoom over here to the stairs. I can left click and hold the zoom and move my mouse either forward or backward or left or right and it basically does that command zoom. Um, <clears throat> I can do walk that allows me to kind of walk the space. I have orbit that allows me to orbit around. I have the look tool which is kind of like looking around something. I have the center tool that allows me to recenter the model. I have Rewind, which allows me to left click and hold and drag between frames or at a particular frame. And it takes me to that particular view situation. You have uh, Up and Down that allows you to adjust the vertical displacement of the view, as in moving the camera higher or lower. This is great if you're trying to look at the Nevis Works model from one floor level to another floor level. Um, and then Pan is practically the same thing as you pressing and holding the mouse wheel down and moving your mouse, which is similar across the board for most of the Autodesk apps. If you don't want the steering wheel, just hit this little X and it disappears on you. You have the actual commands for pan and zoom and orbit by themselves up here as well. So you can click pan and pan. You can click zoom window, zoom, zoom selected, or zoom all. If I say zoom window, I'm creating a window and it zooms to that position. <clears throat> if you want to, you can do uh, zoom 
And that's just clicking and dragging your mouse, kind of like real-time zoom. If you say zoom selected, that means you actually have to select an object first. So in order to do that, remember you're still in the zoom kind of functionality. So your cursor looks like a little uh, uh, magnifying glass. Back, hit back over to the home and click select. So your mouse turns into a selection. And then you can still zoom and navigate. Uh, or you can use any one of these views here. When I choose to pick select and I pick an object like this, then when I head back over to the viewpoints, I can head over to zoom and I can say zoom to selected. And it zooms to that particular object. And then you have zoom all, which basically says zoom extends, kind of like in AutoCAD or in uh, zoom all or zoom all to fit in Revit. Again, you can jump to a particular view. And then orbit, you have orbit, free orbit, and constrained orbit. Orbit is the center of the model and, and rotating around that, orbiting around that access point. You have free orbit, which doesn't have a center point. It just kind of floats and moves around. Again, if you get convoluted, you can either click a saved viewport to get back, <clears throat> or you can hit the view cube and the house symbol, and it takes you back to the default 3D view. Lastly, you have um, orbiting where it's a constrained orbit, kind of like a turntable. You have look around, so just like you saw in the um, steering wheel. And you have focus, so you can focus in on a particular object. And you have walk. You have walk and you have fly. Walk is when you want to physically walk the space. Fly is you physically flying the space. Now flying is a little faster than walk by default. <clears throat> but you can control the walking speed and the angular speed of, mo of movement. And then if you are using walk, it's always advisable that you use third person and, if necessary, gravity and or crouching. And that way, when you start to walk, it kind of looks at the object, looks at the model, sees everything, and says, hey, I can or cannot navigate properly. <clears throat> so those are the different navigation tools that you have in the Navigate panel. You also have the View Cube which is a navigation tool. You can left-click any face, any edge, any corner. You can click and hold the cube and move your mouse and rotate like crazy. You can hit the house symbol to get back to the default. You can left-click and hold the compass and do the turntable. If you're in a flat view, you can use these arrows to rotate. And so that's the view cube. And then the navigation toolbar, you have all the navigation steering wheel, you have pan, you have zoom, you have orbiting, you have look around, you have walk and fly, and you have select capability. This tool and this tool, for the most part, <clears throat> and zooming with your wheel and panning with your wheel is very similar to all the other Autodesk apps that are available to you. And that's it. These are the navigation tools within Autodesk Navisworks Manage 2017. Thanks for watching.